August 3, Saturday of the seventh week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Herod, the Tetrarch, heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now, Herod had arrested John bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given. And he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl, who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord Herod had arrested John. Herod, the Tetrarch, is a weak prisoner of his passions. He succumbs to superstitious beliefs that John is haunting him, cannot accept criticism of his adulterous union, makes extravagant promises and orders the execution of a prophet for fear of losing face. John the Baptist, on the other hand, proves to be a fearless prophet of God. As the prophet Elijah before him, he is a disturber of rulers like Herod who flaunt the law of the Lord. His martyr's death affirms the interests of God and his kingdom. The spots are afraid of prophets even if these carry no arms and wage no war. This is because their weapon is the word of God that cuts and exposes the heart and condemns the guilty conscience. 